Hi, it's Lindsay Smith from Keller Williams. Thanks for tuning in to another segment of my Friday morning coffee. This is my opportunity every week to uh, inform the people in Oshawa, Whitby, and Curtis, Bowmanville areas on just some of the changes in real estate. And this one is entitled, uh, The Big Print Giveth and the Small Print Taketh Away. Jim Flaherty has made some changes in the rules on how we buy and sell property with regards to mortgaging. And I thought I'd bring you up to date a little bit on it. So he's made three significant changes. And the reasoning behind these changes were, were, from what I've read, and I've done some extensive research on this, is because he's worried about the condo market in Toronto affecting all of Canada. Um, so to give you some sense of the, the concern that he seems to have is this. What I did was I took Oshawa, Whitby, and Clarington, I went back to January of this year, and I compared from January to May, how much of an increase in value did we have? And we had a 7% increase in value, which is fantastic. Then I randomly select, selected a downtown Toronto location, which is called CO2, which is uh, on the west side of Young Street, right downtown. And I looked at condo apartments, and I did the same thing, January to May. How much did the condo apartments go up in, uh, in that area? January, they were 360,000 was the average condominium that was sold. They had jumped to 645,000. That's a 79% increase in value. So unfortunately, we're all being broad brushed by the fear that we're gonna have a, a market collapse, which out here, Durham Reason, has always been stable. So, the three changes that he made was, number one, um, he's rolled back the amortization on mortgages back to 25 years. Um, what they used to be, when I first started selling real estate, for the first 17 years, you could not have a, a loan, a mortgage, longer than 25 years. Then Flaherty's government increased it to 40 years. So you could pay back a mortgage over 40 years. Now they've rolled it back to what it originally was. Um, the second thing is um, they've just tweaked the amount of money you can borrow. So you're allowed, you used to be allowed 40% for uh, all of your debts. So that'd be your personal debts, your mortgage, and your taxes. They've rolled that back to 39%. So that's not going to make a huge impact. And the third thing they've done is what they've done is they've if you own a house and you want to refinance it and increase your mortgage, they're now only allowing you to go up to 80% before it was 85%. So those are the three kind of significant things that they've, they've changed. Now, the people that are going to be really affected by this probably, in my opinion, are the first time home buyers. Um, if you get a couple in their 20s, they're planning a wedding, maybe they've got to pay for the wedding, they have to relocate for their job, and most of them have student debt. These are the ones that it's really going to impact. Um, because really on a, on a, um, on a monthly basis, the, the equivalent is about a 1% increase in mortgage rates. That's what he's done by shortening up the mortgages. So if you've got a $100,000 mortgage and you applied now with the new rules, it's going to cost you about $50, $51 a month more on average to, uh, to carry that mortgage. That's not huge. But when you start adding it all up to the debts that these um, first time buyers are carrying, that's what the impact's gonna be. Now, if you'd like a little bit more information on this, I can be reached at 888-430-2320, or you can catch me at soldbylindsay.com. Have a great day.